This episode was previously recorded in front of an imaginary studio audience. Time for fun, laugh, Friday! <laughs> Ow, you know, I can't remember your old pals get the show coming back at you again. Live from the Volcano Club for another fun night Friday. But I gotta tell you, uh, might be a little bit of a downer show today because, well, I just a little disappointed in a knife that I recently got. Now, nothing wrong with the knife. The knife is fine. Uh, this is the uh, Rough Rider Silver Soldier. Is that right? Yeah, Silver Soldier. Say that thing three times. I, I can't even say three times fast. Silver Soldier, Silver Soldier, Silver Soldier. Anyway, we don't need the box. We got the knife. And uh, got the knife right here. It's a boot knife. <laughs> he said this is a boot knife. See that? Where's the boot? Here's a boot. Imagine putting that in your boot. <laughs> I think it's a little bit big for a boot knife. Anyway, it does have that little loop there. See that? Anyway, let's take a look at this big old beast of a knife. Yeah, does it look familiar? It looks kind of like that single soldier or single shadow or something like that by Gil Hibben. Yeah, see that wire wrapped handle? You got that little thing on the back that you can do. Also, it looks kind of like a V42. Here's that, uh, what is it? The single shadow or the silver shadow or whatever by Gil Hibben. Yeah. Look at the size difference. <laughs> Yeah, you guess what Jock Muldoon's going to do when he sees this. He's going to go, wait a minute. Why do you got a bigger knife than me? And he's going to want this one. That was the whole plan so I could get this one back. But then what's going to happen is Jock Muldoon is going to look at the sheath here. He's going to go, what the heck's going on there? Because see that? Look at that. Put it in there. The knife doesn't go all the way into the sheath. Almost goes all the way in, but doesn't go all the way in. Huh. Wait a minute. Let's turn it over. What the heck's going on? Look at that. Push, push, push. It won't go in anymore. All right, let's turn it over. It goes in more. That's funky. And you got the snap there. It holds all right. But then you got this. See that? I don't know if that's supposed to be that way. That's a lot of wiggle room there. And how much longer am I going to be able to wiggle this until it falls right out of those rivets? And that's a problem. Now, on the bright side... You don't have that problem with this one, with the single shadow, because it's got this clip on the back, very strong clip. But then it's got this funky thing up there, so whenever you strap this down on the front, got it there, so you can see Gil Hibben's name up there, which is all kind of cool and everything, but then the leather's ripping down here. You see that? Look at that. The leather's ripping. So, in both cases, these leather sheaths kind of suck. It's like, what gives? If you're going to, you know, and big selling point, look at this great knife with leather sheaths and everything. It's like, well, a great knife deserves a great sheath. And if you're going to put it in a leather sheath, it should be a quality leather sheath. But, you know, we're talking about a $20 knife. How much more would a $20 knife cost with a quality leather sheath? Probably a lot more than $20. And a lot of people go, well, I would pay for, you know, I'd pay an extra $10 for the knife if it had a better leather sheath. It's like, no, you wouldn't. Come on, it's a 420 wall hanger. It's a wall hanger. Come on, let's, 
Maybe somebody's going to carry this 420 steel, big old double-edged blade, fancy handle. It does look good. It does that not look beautiful. It's a beautiful looking knife, big old knife, but the sheath is lacking. And that's my problem with it. Like, I know a lot of people say I'd pay ten dollars more, fifteen dollars more for a better sheath. It's like I no, no, you wouldn't, and and they would not sell nearly as well for that kind of money. I don't know how Gil Hibben gets away with it other than his name, because that is a problem. You shouldn't have that happening on your sheath. It shouldn't. The leather should not rip on your sheath. Not like that. If you design it right, it shouldn't happen. So it's probably because the leather just isn't the quality that it should be. But they do make some quality leather sheets out there, but you're not gonna find them on $20 knives. Like right? now that you got this one here, this is by Essie, the JG5. This is a quality leather sheath. I don't think I have to worry about anything breaking there. Notice how this is stitched back here, not just a couple rivets going in there. Sometimes you'll see it stitched and riveted, which is even better. But this one is so well made, it doesn't even need the rivets. It's well, you know, you got the nice weld there. The knife just drops in there, fits nice and everything else. Yeah, that's a really good knife. But it's also not a $20 knife. Of course, China's gonna be knocking it off for $20. They'll put it in a cheap leather sheath. That's really more like cardboard. And people are going to say, why didn't they put it in a better sheath? Well, you don't get a good leather sheath for a low price. And that's where I'm going with this. I would have much preferred to have this knife as is in a quality nylon sheath instead of a crappy leather sheath. And I know Rough Rider knows how to make quality nylon sheets because this, well, this one's actually Turtle Man Lightning, but you see that, look at that. You got the pleather, you got the nylon, the pleather accents. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's a good snap there. The Lightning. Gotta talk about this now sometime in the future. But this is a really nice nylon and pleather sheath and it's a top quality sheath. This is really well made. I like this sheath so much better than a crappy leather sheath that looks more like pressed cardboard with some loose rivets on the back holding this loop here. And why didn't you just make it all one piece if they would have just made this go all the way up and flip around off of the back piece here, instead of riveting a piece of other cardboard leather on the back, you would have had a much stronger sheath going on. And if they would have just made it a little bit longer, the blade would have fit right. So I would have much rather had a properly fitting nylon sheath than a crappy, ill-fitting leather sheath for such a stellar knife as this. But that's the way it goes. But we gotta talk to the knife industry and let them know, look, don't give us crappy leather sheaths. Give us a, if, if the knife is cheap, we get it. If, if you're not paying 40, $50 on the knife, and you know that the sheath is also part of the price of that knife, then you gotta get, get real with it. We gotta get real with it in our mind that you can't put a good leather sheath on a $20 knife, not in this day and age. But you can put a quality nylon sheath on a $20 knife. And I'd much rather see quality nylon sheaths on these kind of knives than some kind of crap leather sheath, even with all the fancy little embossing and everything else, doesn't matter because let's face it, the 
leather is crap here. The knife. Now that's cool. I like the knife. The sheath. It can go with the box. Anyway. I guess that's where I'm at. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your fun knife Friday. But I can have fun with the knife. But I can't have fun with a crappy leather sheath. So it's not my fault that this is a downer show. It's the fault of the manufacturers who think, hey, we'll sell more knives if we say it's got a genuine leather sheath. Even when the genuine leather sheath, that cow, that cow was happy to die. It's like, oh man, this is some of the worst leather I've ever made. I can't believe this leather sucks so bad. Somebody just shoot me now and put me out of my misery because my skin is so bad. That's the cow. That's what the cow was saying. He's walking around going, oh, I got so bad a skin. Somebody just put a bolt through my head now so I can die because I don't have a luxurious leather skin that I should have. I just got some crappy old leather skin that's no good for anybody. It's like cardboard. Yeah, it, was, it came from a cardboard cow. That's where that leather sheath came from. It came from a cardboard cow. Anyway, let's go have some fun with some fun knives and just forget about the crappy leather sheaths. Skip out. Been your old pal Skip the Show. Another fun knife Friday in the books. Remember, if your knife's not fun, you're doing it wrong. Skip out. If your knife's not fun, you're doing it wrong, and skip out are registered trademarks of Skip the Show Enterprises. This has been a Cat Production presentation. All rights reserved.